my show. I'm Gourmet Gagi, and today I want to make a fairly simple recipe. It's potato pancakes, which is something that just about everybody loves. So in my mom's day, she used a grater like this. However, I'm lazy. So I use an electric grater. And I will add a few of the eggs because it will help blend, break them up in the blender as well as the rest of the potatoes. This one. Two. Three. I usually use one egg per potato, and I felt that that the three that the I use three potatoes, so I use three eggs. So here we go. Again. Also to this, I'm adding a teaspoon and a half of onion salt. You could use a teaspoon of grated onion and a tea, half a teaspoon of salt, but again, I'm in the more modern world, so I'm going to use the onion salt. There's a teaspoon and a half. And that takes care of both the salt and the onion. Now I grated the potatoes in batches and I added the eggs and I added the onion salt. Now what I still have to add is a table and a half, tablespoon and a half of flour. Now I add my tablespoon and a half, and I just kind of eyeball it. That's about a half into that mixture. And here's the eggs, the potatoes, the onion salt, and the flour. And once I get this mixed, then I take it over to the frying pan and I begin to make the potato pancakes. And if I can do it, you can do it. Now to the frying pan, I add some shortening. Um, you can tell whenever you've had enough when it covers over the whole bottom of the frying pan. Now it's time to fry the potato pancakes. There's one. And another one. third one and fourth one. Now we let them fry similar to whenever you make a regular pancake. You'll see them getting done around the edges first and then the top begins to dry then you flip them over and they're ready. And then when that side's brown just take them out and it's time to eat. the edges seem to be getting brown, then you kind of put your spatula in and look up and if it looks like it's getting brown there, then just flip them over. Sometimes it takes a little longer to cook them because some potatoes have more water in them. And sometimes you have to either add a little more flour or an additional egg, but it's hard to make a mistake. being nasty for me. Once they're golden brown on both sides, I take them off, set them on a plate that has a paper towel on it to drain some of the grease, and they're done. They're delicious. Now you continue to fry the rest of the batter until they look like this. And then when they're done, you can eat them with cream cheese, sour cream, sugar, or whatever your little heart desires. Enjoy! 
Thanks for cooking with Gourmet Guggy, and you definitely can do it.